No dig equipment. Lightweight horizontal boring equipment with real grunt. Molding, thrusting, earth punching, whatever it may be known as in your country, is a trenchless installation method of today and the future, working alongside the horizontal directional drilling method. Aussie Mould is Australia's market leader in the moulding industry and the third largest manufacturer in the world. Aussie Mould originated from contractors' needs as they were frustrated with what was available on the market. Unreliable, complicated machines where downtime and repairs were very costly. Aussie moulds have been manufactured since the early 90s, catering for the local Australian market and exporting to several countries around the world. Continuing research and development has meant that several new models and sizes are now available to suit the requirements of different countries. They include 16 models ranging from 45 millimetres to 150 millimetres diameter, with moving and solid heads, also with quarter turn and screw forward reverse mechanisms. Aussie moulds are used for various applications, including installation of gas, electricity, water, telecommunications or any underground installation. They are also used for pile driving, a concept frequently used in some countries around the world. The Aussie mould engineered design with the balanced moving head has proven itself in tough piling conditions. Firstly, Dig a launching and a reception pit to the required depth, remembering that depth needs to be nine times the diameter of the mould. If this is not possible, then point the front of the mould down to counteract the uneven displacement. Using the Aussie mould launcher or merely holding the Aussie mould with your hands, launch the Aussie mould in approximately one third of its length. Then check with your Aussie mould straight shooter and level and make any necessary directional adjustments. Turn the air on and check the mould's direction as it penetrates forward into the ground. The Aussie mould can be left to travel to the reception pit whilst other necessary work can be carried out. When the reception pit is reached, the Aussie mould can be reversed either by a quarter turn or screwing of the air supply hose. The mould will automatically then reverse. Or remove the mould and disconnect the air supply hose and connect the Aussie mould pulling carrot. This is then screwed into the required service which can then be pulled back by the air supply hose. For different conditions, you may need to pull the service in behind the Aussie mould using any of the Aussie mould pulling attachments. Damien Mullins is one of Australia's Telstra telephone installation contractors and has been using moulds for the last 15 years. We run a fleet of approximately 10 to 15 different hammers, or we've had 10 to 15 different hammers. Uh, at the moment we use Aussie mole hammers ranging from 45 to 140 mil. Reason for this is design is simple, very powerful and they do the job for us. Aussie moulds are made from the best quality alloy steel, honed and polished barrels, machined and stress treated to create optimum performance and durability under a strict quality control system. It is critical that the correct amount of Aussie mole oil or Aussie mole antifreeze is used to give optimum performance. Incorrect amounts will cause poor performance and excessive wear. To adjust the lubrication flow, you'll find a simple adjustment on your airline lubricator with optional positive visual lubrication in the system. The Aussie mould is simple to operate as the optional balanced moving head gives the Aussie mould greater accuracy and better penetration even in the dry, tough Australian conditions. When contaminated with dirt or foreign material, your Aussie mould can be checked 
and cleaned in minutes to prevent unnecessary wear. Servicing requires an Allen key and can be performed easily in the field. With the maintenance and simplicity of the Aussie Mole, in comparison with other brands that we've used and tried, we find it very, very simple to break the machine down on site. It doesn't have to go to a workshop. We need no large, large wrenches. We need no uh, heating, heating equipment to undo the back end. With the Aussie Mole, we just use an Allen key, loosen the four bolts on the back end, replace the seals, replace the hose on the back within half an hour on site. Alternatively, this can be done by your authorised Aussie Mole dealer. No dig equipment. Lightweight, horizontal boring equipment with real grunt. <laughs>